And now to Zamfara, where the state government says it has never claimed ownership of these gold fields, but the move to stop procurement of gold from artisanal miners is part of efforts to curb the wave of insecurity. The government insists foreigners are fueling banditry and other related crimes in the state by exchanging gold for arms. Addressing a press conference in Guzo, the state capital, the Commissioner for Environment, Mans, Mines and Solid Minerals said government has taken stern measures to stem the tide. Theophilus Darofai reports. Zamfara is one of the northern states blessed with abundant solid mineral resources. The state is blessed with 32 mineral resources. The state government says the recent discovery of gold mines triggered the spirit of insecurity in the state and environs. The state commissioner of solid minerals and former minister of finance says Zamfara state never claimed ownership of its gold fields, but have taken measures to tackle insecurity. The uncharitable charge against the state government that it claimed ownership of the gold mine could not be more false. The state government is currently assisting the federal government of, of uh, the Ministry of Mines and on the ongoing process of registering deserving companies who will legally engage in mining activities for the federal government. I have never seen where the Bill of Authority has stated that exclusively all the mineral deposits in the state belong to the state. The governor has not mentioned that. We are very happy that the current Ministry of Mines have cleared the issue. They say the governor's intention to sanitize the mining industry in his states has been misunderstood and blown out of proportion. It is therefore very unfortunate that the governor's colleague, the governor colleagues of His Excellency Governor Bella Mohammed Bhattali, could not pick up their phones and seek for clarification, but choose to go on air and accuse him of violating the provision of the constitution and threatening that, that threatening the revenue allocation provision of the federal government. Most of the big mining sites we have, they are not Zafari indigenous. So if it is if it belongs to Zafari, you also you only see Zafari citizens. But if we give you the samples, then you will know definitely that is not the situation. But of course they are all Nigerians and we are all entitled to that. People are now beginning to say some for a state is enjoying relative peace since the emergence of Bella Matawali as the governor in May 2019. The government says illegal mining of mineral resources poses a great danger to the environment and the health condition of the people. It also says mining began to be pervasive in the state about 10 years ago. Theophilus Darufay, TVC News, Gusau.